No, you have to have a warfare mentality. We are an invading army in this world. We are here to occupy until he comes and to build up and to draw other people, first by setting them free and then turning them into good soldiers of Jesus Christ. That's who we are. And in the middle of all that, more peace comes. I, I can't tell you how much peace there is in knowing that no sickness or disease can stand before me all the days of my life because I have God with me. There is no degree of, of understanding the peace which passes all understanding whenever you know that no sickness or disease, no devil, no problems, no, no nothing can stand unless you keep your mouth shut. But when you open your mouth where the word of a king is, there is power. And we are made kings and priests under our God. So when you open your mouth, you are releasing power. Your faith isn't released until you open your mouth. I heard one preacher say not long ago, it's a good saying, never run at your giant with your mouth closed. What do you do? Just like David, you run at him, tell him, here's what's going to happen to you today, giant. Here's what's going to happen to you, giant cancer. Here's what's going to happen to you, giant migraines. Here's what's going to happen to you, whatever the giant is. I'm going to speak to you, and you're going to move, and you're going to be cast in the sea, because if you stand there till I get there, I'll cut your head off. And then you move on through. But to do that, you've got to have the fear of the Lord and hate evil, and you have to hate sickness and disease. You have to hate all the works of the devil. You can't just... Be a good little middle-of-the-road Christian. Middle-of-the-road Christians get hit by traffic going both ways. At least pick a lane and move with the flow of traffic. 